20 years. So much can be said about the year 2003. Tesla launching, MySpace launching, and Mars coming closest to Earth than it has in more than 60,000 years. And of course, Betsy joining the team at WKYC. Here's to 20 years, mwah, and here's to 20 more. <laughs> I think it's very appropriate that he threw in that, that fact about Mars <laughs> being the closest that it's been in 60,000 years because you can't know Betsy without knowing she is a huge space nerd. I am. Actually, I was out at NASA this morning. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. A bunch of Cleveland, uh, Cleveland Metropolitan School District students were out there, too. So it was really exciting. You'll see more about that coming up. At so Momo just told me in my ear that mm -hmm. the reason we're celebrating your 20th anniversary today and not tomorrow, a lot of folks that you work closely with won't be here <laughs> tomorrow. And we wanted everybody surprising. to get in on that <laughs> celebration. And we also thought, OK, 20 years. Uh -huh. So that's really cool. What was life like back in 2003? What was our world like on Betsy Kling's first day at Channel 3? Wow, all right, well, who else to look back on that then and now than our own Mike Polk Jr. <laughs> Take a look. Well, working in the same place for 20 years is obviously very impressive. In fact, in Cleveland, a place being the same place for 20 years is impressive. Just for some perspective, since the Betsy Kling acquisition of 2003, this venue here in Tremont has been eight different things. First it was Miracle, then Oz Bar and Bistro, then Sage Bistro, then Bistro on Lincoln Park, then Porcelli's Bistro, then Legali's Bistro, then Merchant Street, and now Cloak and Dagger. A lot changes in 20 years around here. 2003 was a year of great cultural importance. Lord of the Rings Return of the King was cleaning up at the Oscars. 50 Cent's Into Club was topping the charts. Go show it. It's your birthday. And a fresh-faced young whippersnapper out of BGSU by the name of Elizabeth Betsy Kling debuted on Cleveland's best TV station. But did you know there were also comparatively less earth-shattering developments that year as well? Tesla Motors was founded in 2003, and Apple launched its iTunes store. The social media app MySpace also debuted and has remained wildly popular to this day. For insight on how the city of Cleveland has changed since Betsy's debut, I turned to Nick Costas, whose club Pickwick and Frolic opened in 2002. I had to ask the mayor of these four, if you've seen a lot in 20 years here, what's changed since you got here? Oh my goodness, well, this street was uh, tumbleweed. It was uh, wig shops and pawn shops. This place well, is really lit up over the last 20 years, yes, too. Yes, yes. My question is, how much of that is Betsy Kling related, do you believe? Ah. The Kling factor, as I call it. The Kling factor, yes. This is what the world was like when we hired Betsy Kling 20 years ago. Friends and <laughs> ER were still on the air. Woo -hoo. That was a while ago. How about that? The Cleveland sports scene certainly looked a bit different back when Betsy joined the team. The Browns starting QB was a young man named Timothy Couch. The Cleveland Indians, as they were commonly referred to back then, still had both Omar and CeCe. Most importantly, wrong way Ricky Davis would lead our Cleveland Cavs to a dismal 17 and 65 record, thereby allowing us to draft none other than LeBron Raymore James Sr. That's right, folks. Both regional luminaries, LeBron James and Betsy Kling, made their pro Cleveland debuts in the same year. And that is the poetry of fate. <laughs> They said these are the people who died that year. I'm going to say these people were still alive when Betsy Kling got here. Gregory Peck was oh, still alive when Betsy man, started working I, here. I remember Gregory Peck. Otto Graham was still alive when Betsy started working now, here. That's a biggie. That is a biggie. And Bob Hope was still alive oh, when Betsy man. Kling started working at WKYC. It's been that long. As another person who has endured in Cleveland for a long time, any words of wisdom for Betsy? I only know that her presence in Cleveland brings a smile to everybody. She is a, a civic asset. Betsy, happy 20th anniversary. Good to see you, kid. Go shorty. Aww. It's your birthday. I know. I was happy to hear that. That yeah, is an old school. I just loved hearing you say 50 cent. <laughs> yeah. That was, to me, that was one I of didn't know whether this how to say it properly. So I just, <laughs> no, you nailed it. I, I leaned into it. Yeah. Um, by the way, uh, also, everyone that I've ever run into at a grocery store says the congratulations. <laughs> and they wanted to say hi to you. <laughs> That's is exactly that the truth right. everywhere we ever go? Everywhere. <laughs> Well, when we were in Arizona last week, yeah, go ahead. I heard from 9,766 of her biggest fans. Yes, 100%. <laughs> everyone, Where's Betsy? <laughs> everyone who comes up to me at Giant Eagle either says, uh, say hi to Betsy for me, or do you know where the salad dressing is? Because I, I look like I work at a grocery store, and I'm always alone. So, Aisle nine. Yeah, and I know now. By now, I already know where it's all at. Uh, happy anniversary. Thank you. Michelle BK. Keep it I walking. think you. Civic Asset was the perfect. She oh, is. Oh, my word. She's, a civic, she's made our city better, yeah. and she certainly helps keep us safe during our most tumultuous weather times. Yep. So, Betsy, 
What Thanks for being a civic want? asset. I mean, Nothing. thank goodness. Yeah, I know. It's 20 just, more. It's your day. 20 more. Does that seem fair? <laughs> you can swing that. I think that's, you'll that's make, not quite fair to me. You'll make everyone I run into at <laughs> wow. Marks. Everyone I run into at Marks will be so thrilled if you were here for 20 more years. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. All right, Mike, that was great. No problem. Thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. And, and no, we're not done celebrating Betsy just yet. Mm. We love embarrassing her. We do. Oh, and that's exactly what we're here to do today. Um, join us as we take a look back at all of her great hairstyles <laughs> and some of her big milestones. That's coming up in just a few minutes. And